Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to add mixed numbers with like denominators. So let's take a look at this example. I have 4, 7 over 8 plus 1, 5 over 8. So adding the mixed numbers with like denominators is pretty easy. You add the whole number separately from the fractions and then add the fractional part and combine the results. So let's add the whole numbers first. So the whole numbers I have 1 and 4. So let's add them. 4 plus 1 will give me 5. Now I have do uh, I'm done adding the whole numbers. Now I have to add the fractional part. So for the fractional part, I have 7 over 8 and 5 over 8. So let's add the fractional part now. So 7 over 8 plus 5 over 8. The good thing is I have like denominators, so I don't have to worry. I can just add the numerators. Uh, so 7 plus 5, that will give me 12. And I still have denominator 8 because you don't add the denominators. Now, 12 over 8, uh, we can convert the, this into the mixed number form. Let's convert it. So 12 divided by 8. How many times does 12 goes into 8? Well, 1 times. 8 times 1 is 8. And then 12 minus 8 will be 4. So, uh, so how do I write this in the mixed number? Is I have to write, this becomes my whole part. So I will write one first, then the remainder goes on the top. This will become my numerator, and then the divisor goes at the bottom. So this will become my denominator. So I have one four over eight. Now you can see that four over eight can be reduced. This is not in the simplest form. So let's divide it. Uh, we can divide this by 4. We can divide this by 2, but that will be, uh, uh, if you divide this by 2, you will have to divide again by 2 because that will you will not get the uh, simplest form in one single step. So you always divide by the greatest number they're divisible with. So let's divide this by 4. 4 over 4. So when you divide 4 over 8 with 4 over 4, let's ignore 1 for a bit. We are working on this fraction. So 4 divided by 4 will give me 1, and 8 divided by 4 will be 2. So our mixed number will be 1, 1 over 2. Right, now this becomes our, this is our fractional part. Still, this is a mixed number, but this, this was our fractional part. We, uh, now we have to combine the whole part and the fractional part. So let's combine it together. So I have 5 for the whole part, and then I have to add... 1, 1 over 2 to this. So again, I have the whole part and the fractional part. So I will add the whole part first. 5 plus 1 will give me 6. And for the fractional part, I only have 1 over 2. So I will write this as 1 over 2. So my final answer is uh, when you add 4, 7 over 8 plus 1, 5 over 8, you're going to get 6, 1 over 2. That's my final answer.